So Tate is back in full swing, performing under pressure and with plenty of pace. Tate warmed up for his record-breaking ball with one that clocked in just a shade slower at 159 kilometres an hour with his trademark slingshot action, leaving the batsman clueless. The wild thing is in. Second ball into the pads of Imran Farat. Almost 160. That is unbelievable slacks. That's express. 159 clicks. A fully fit Tate, who's retired from the game's longer formats to concentrate on 2020, bowled his super quick Perler with just his third delivery, and the 60,000 strong crowd went wild. Ball three. Play oh, miss. The eyes go straight up to the screen, and the crowd love it. It's 100 miles an hour. I think he's on tonight, the wild thing, so it's going to be good to watch. We don't know where they're going to go, I'm sure. I'm sure the batters have a no idea where it's about to go. That ball was 99.854 miles an hour in the old money. But hey, who's quibbling? Let's just call it 100 miles an hour. Lily and Tomo might have bowled quicker in their heyday, but that was long before speed guns became part of the coverage. Brett Lee and Shoab Akhtar have bowled marginally faster, but that was while playing on South African decks. Yeah, I think I kept my pace right through the night as well, which was uh, which was good. It doesn't always happen that way, but I'm not sure how those other two boys bowled quicker than that because I almost killed myself out there. The skipper more than happy to have Tate in his armoury. The wild thing. Um, yeah, it's great to have him back. Uh, great to see him bowl 160k as well. So, look, I think all the bowlers deserve credit tonight. Tate certainly got the result. Meantime, Pakistan cricket authorities have formally announced the predictable inquiry into the tour.